The U.S.-India economic relationship has grown by leaps and bounds over the past few decades. Bilateral trade has crossed the $100 billion milestone. U.S. investments in India are vast, and India has emerged as one of the fastest growing sources of foreign direct investment in the U.S. However, the story of Indian investments in the U.S. remains unsung. Trade and investment ties between India and the United States are an engine of growth for our relationship. And what Indian companies do with their work in this country is basically to help people on the ground. I think they have been able to generate a great deal of positive economic activity. They've created jobs, they've helped improve lives. And I believe that this is a story, a very real story that needs to be told. The Confederation of Indian Industry, CII, actively works to strengthen U.S.-India commercial linkages and through its India Business Forum brings together companies that have grown Indian roots on American soil. Let us take you on a journey across the United States to see what some of these Indian companies are doing to positively impact the local economies and communities here in America. We started Mahindra USA as a company in 1994 and it was a small company then. We have grown uh, 20 times to uh, having 400 locations uh, in, in the North American market and selling 10,000 plus tractors. Mahindra USA is more an American company than being an Indian brand. Uh, 90 plus percent of our uh, uh, company employees are local Americans. Uh, we have uh, not just invested in recruiting people, but also invested in uh, community services. From the Joplin, Missouri tornado disaster and recent tornado outbreaks, Mahindra has partnered with our local dealers to assist them in their recovery and rebuilding efforts by providing Mahindra tractors to help relief workers. We do employ uh, a lot of people and we do a lot of investments uh, in the U.S. market. And we are at the helm to uh, inch up from being among the top five to becoming the top three in the North American market by 2015. TCS began its work in North America in 1971 and established its first operation in New York in 1979. At Cincinnati, we have created more than 450 high skilled jobs in the last three years and our long term plan is to get to 1000. TCS success definitely uh, depends on a North America success. I've been involved with a great program they have Go IT, uh, working with high school students in the area and trying to focus and develop their interest in IT careers and as a college dean I'm glad to be part of that story. TCS has done some, uh, provided some consulting services uh, to some community-based organizations that really don't have the, the horsepower, let's say, uh, to get the kind of things done that TCS can get done. Highland County is very proud, you know, to say that uh, TCS is located here in our county. TCS, when they come into a community, they want to make it better because of their presence and mission accomplished. Rambaxi is committed to bringing accessible, affordable, quality generic products to the U.S. healthcare system. It adds to the economic vitality at a local, state, and federal level through the creation of jobs and investments in our facilities. Rambaxi has invested approximately $77 million here in the last six years in both New Jersey and Florida. These investments mean that we will be increasing our capabilities and capacities here in the United States. The plan is to invest an additional $20 million in 2012-2013 to help meet the U.S. healthcare needs and the growing U.S. economy. Ever since Ramboxy located here in 2003, it has grown and brought more than 450 new jobs to our city. Ramboxy has enhanced New Brunswick's reputation as the healthcare city of New Jersey. It is because of companies like Ramboxy 
that cities in New Jersey continue to grow and prosper. It's still America came into being in 1989 uh, in, in U.S. and we are currently having 8,000 employees. We push very hard to hire 80% of local residents. So from recruiting to training to retaining, we want to make sure that you get that experience here at HCL. Uh, HCL has been a significant economic uh, investor in our community. A great byproduct for the continued growth and expansion that we see with HCL is the uh, local contractors and companies that are winding up being vendors and supporters of uh, the HCL organization. We are holding a career mentoring day with HCL where uh, employment uh, connection is provided for veterans, disabled veterans, and persons with disabilities. We are committed to in making investment. We are committed to hiring local people, and I'm proud of doing that. Welcome to U.S. headquarters of $12 billion giant Larson & Dubrow. The relationship with U.S. goes back all the way to 1945. Today we have almost about 3,000 people working in U.S. And as this business is growing, we expect to increase our local recruitment. We uh, invested heavily and aggressively into hiring uh, college graduates and visited a number of universities and colleges in the area. This initiative has really helped us drive uh, employment in regions, has also helped us infuse capital into those regions where we're expanding our, our footprint and our employee base. And it's important for us as a member of the American uh, community, quite frankly, uh, to get people employed in regions, in particular in regions that might have been distressed uh, during recent periods. We're going to move this program throughout the United States and bring in candidates into the sectors that they want to pursue uh, their careers in. We are actually helping with solutions that can help our clients improve their top line and their bottom line. Even though Infosys originated from India, it is uh, a company of the country it works in. We are a U.S. company listed on the NASDAQ. 65% of our revenue comes from, comes from here. 16,000 people are employed here. We're actually going to hire more and more people in the United States and our uh, expectation is that our headcount here will grow by about 33%. So I can't think of a better definition of an American company than Infosys. And we not only feel that we, we participate in the economic activity of this country, but also in the social activity of this country. Infosys people actually go to community colleges and teach. To be able to have an environment where individuals could be trained, using the approach that Emphasis has as a software engineering boot camp, and we have a commitment to make a difference in the lives of our students. It's going to help our local community incredibly. Now, because of this great training initiative between the White House Emphasis and Wayne County Community College, we can train Metro Detroiters for jobs in Metro Detroit. That is fantastic. Dr. Eddy's is known as a generic manufacturer, but we're actually pretty active in the sphere of developing innovative pharmaceutical products. We're pleased to say that we've grown from what was a very small entrepreneurial operation of a handful of people to today what's over 600 employees. In Shreveport, Louisiana, we acquired that site from a large chemical company. We made a commitment to grow that site. We actually moved product manufacturing from India to the U.S which is very uh, nuanced and somewhat of a surprise when we talk about that to people because the common perception is that manufacturing goes from U.S. offshore. We run as an organization what we call is a triple bottom line, uh, and that's an equal focus on profit, people, planet. We are obviously an Indian company doing business in the United States, but everything that we offer in the U.S. is very much tailored to a U.S. environment. So I think we have embraced the best of both worlds.
Wipro has had a tremendous impact on the local economy. Um, the Atlanta Development Center has put a number of folks back to work and we've hired hundreds of, of individuals. In the state of Georgia, we have over 750 employees. Over 80% of those employees are local employees. We make sure that uh, our local Atlanta workforce, everyone from the entry level employee on up in the organization receives quality training. In Georgia, we were recognized by uh, the Atlanta Metro Chamber of Commerce uh, for our impact in terms of the local community. And so we were given the um, Economic Impact Award. Wipro continues to grow and add locations. We currently have locations from New York to San Francisco, Chicago to Dallas, and, and points in between. We help businesses do business better, which makes them more profitable and allows them uh, to hire and invest um, in their larger ecosystem. And the cycle continues. When you look at Sue's Lawn, we consistently look at ways to expand our presence in the U.S. We're scattered uh, throughout 22 different states. We'll continue to be a, a viable part of the U.S. in creating jobs. And there's creation of jobs on the construction side and the service side. We opened this training center, uh, which is a major state-of-the-art center. And I'd like to note it's the only training center in the U.S. with an inside training turbine that we actually use for training purposes. Here in Illinois, we partner with the second largest school district. We bring their teachers in for training to help them understand the wind industry and the way they can develop curriculum that can be taught to students. We use the local talent to create the culture or the diversity here at Suzlon that says we are U.S. and we were made in the U.S. Hundreds of companies of Indian origin are currently operating in the United States. They have invested millions of dollars, hired thousands of local employees, and are today an integral part of the economic and social fabric of their local communities and the country as a whole. As our bilateral partnership strengthens further, CII and the India Business Forum will continue to play a vital role in driving business-to-business -business engagement between our two countries towards a bright future full of mutual growth, development, and prosperity.